Morning everyone, Lucas here. Thanks so much for checking out my video. Welcome to my studio in LA. And today we're just gonna do a super quick universal audio tip. Um, one of the things that I find super annoying about UA plugins is that they give you a huge drop down menu of a million plugins that you don't even own. And um, <clears throat> shame on universal audio for trying to sell me all these plugins even though I bought an interface that costs over three thousand dollars but that'll be another topic for a different video but um they're trying to sell you all these plugins and it's really annoying when i'm just trying to pull something up really simple and i have this drop down list of all these ones that i don't own but there's a quick workaround for this it's a little bit annoying but if you go to settings what i'm going to show you how to do is you can just hit this hide button so all these ones that say demo not started are available to demo or purchase i'm going to hide all them the ones that are included in your, um, like for example, with mine, I think it, it includes like the analog classics bundle. So those ones are authorized. So I'm gonna leave those and I'm just gonna hide all these demos that I do not wanna see because I don't own them, nor do I wanna demo them, nor do I want to buy them right now. And um, obviously you may have a different setup depending on what you've purchased or not. And, uh, there is no faster way of doing this. Unfortunately, you just have to hide them one by one. I wish there was, and also this will reset when you update the software. So I find myself doing this a couple times, and eh, maybe like once a year or something, depending on how often I update. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hide all these. But what you'll see is it'll be super worth it at the end because your dropdown menus are gonna be tidy. Unfortunately, this is not going to help you for Pro Tools, I will do another video. Uh, for example, in your DAW, you will still see all of these plugins in the drop down menu. This is only for console. So I'll have to do a separate video for that. In Cubase, you have a, an extensive plugin manager where you can just hide everything that you don't want. Um, but in Pro Tools, you'll have to go in and manually delete all the plugin files from your Mac. Um, library location so that'll be a topic for another video it's taking me forever to do this um, but i promise you it's going to be super worth it it's a good idea to take note of the exact plugins that you own for a future reference because if you do want to hide them in your daw you will need to know i, I think i know it by memory because i've done this so many times um, you just need to know which ones uh, you should be deleting or hiding in your DAW because it will not tell you this information there. All right, we're almost done here. Sorry that there's no fast way of doing this. Universal Audio, please, please, please create a button that says hide all that you do not own. But I know they're not going to want to do that because they want you to demo all these so you're buying plugins. But if you just spent thousands of dollars on an interface, you probably don't want to do that. Okay, now if I go to a channel, when I go to my plugin menus, it shows me only the ones that I own. So this all list is much smaller. Super key. Let me know if this was helpful to you. I know it's a quick video. I'm trying to do sort of more concise topics because all my videos have been like 10 minutes long. Let me know if this is helpful. This is Lucas again. Check out my channel for other videos related to music production, guitar recording, things like that. And also my website, I have free downloads of guitar tabs and uh, Pro Tools sessions, Ableton sessions, things like that. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm out of here later.